How's it going, guys? Uh, coach Ian Tatum, um, offensive line coach and offensive coordinator at North Rowan High School. Uh, we're about 45 minutes north of Charlotte, North Carolina. And I just want to come on here and just talk a little bit of ball with y'all. Um, had some time this morning before school. Just want to come on here and just talk a little bit of run game. Uh, I know it's real trendy right now, especially to talk about counter. But I think at North Rowan, we did a lot of good things running counter. Uh, I like to tell people we ran counter every way but backwards last year. Uh, one thing I will say is we've been running counter for a little while. Uh, I know it's been kind of coming on, especially a lot of guys on Twitter have been talking about different variations of counter. Um, a lot of guys have been really inquiring about it. So I just want to go on and just talk about a little bit of what we do. Uh, I like to say I don't know everything. Uh, I, I know a little bit, so we're going to talk about it. Um, at the end of the day, I don't know everything. And if you can take a little bit from what this video, uh, that'll be worth it. You know, especially, you know, when at clinic time, whenever somebody's doing a video, you kind of want to just take at least one or two little things you can take and hopefully it'll help you be successful running counter. Uh, so I'm gonna hop on the board. Um, next time I'm Ian Tatum, we're gonna talk about GT. We're gonna talk about GY, which a lot of guys live just GH. Um, we're talking about G for us the Y and the H. That's the same position right there. So um, the Y for us is that tight end H back guy. So G Y and G T. Okay. So right now we're on the board. Uh, we're gonna talk about just normal G T. Okay. And uh, I'm putting we're working with the H back right now. Um, so when we're running uh, G T counter. Okay, and all the just preface right now, all the defenses that I'm gonna draw up for these counter plays are things that I went on Tuttle and looked at what teams did to us. So I don't want any defensive guys going on there and be like, hey, I wouldn't do that. Maybe you wouldn't have, but that's what we saw this year. Okay, um, and I have to, if I have time, I'm gonna go against uh, even and odd front, so we get both because I love blocking against both fronts. Okay. But first, I'm just gonna go with the even front right now. So normal four two five, you know, nothing crazy, okay? So right now, we're gonna talk about running uh, GT counter to the right side, okay? So the play side is going to the right, okay? So we're gonna to run to the right, basic gap scheme blocking, front side, gap down backer, you know, we're working down, working down to the back side linebacker, center, blocking back on the three, if you have a guy that can block back on three, it is a it is a valuable resource. Um, if you don't, there's ways to get around that. Um, but we just happen to have a guy that can get back to a three. Um, you're going to trap pull on the backside. Backside guard's always going to pull on gap scheme. He needs to know if he's going to trap or he's going to wrap. Uh, on our, obviously on the counter, he's going to trap. Uh, on here, okay, we're going to skip pull around tight off the double team scraping paint tight off the double team for the front side linebacker whoever shows up in the hole okay and this tight end okay is basically going to just re just replace okay and block this end okay so we like to do a lot of um uh, especially on counter same side run uh with the, with the back okay so run to the same side so he will okay he will step open step crossover and come back downhill following the tackle and getting in his hip pocket, okay, and making a cut, okay. Outside, we're gonna stop blocking, okay. Real simple, okay. GT counter, nothing, nothing crazy, right? All right, let's draw it up against the odd front. All right, basic odd front. All right, so you got your your, your four zero four, you got two overhang players. All right, um, overhangs are splitting the difference between in man line scrimmage and uh, number two. Okay. So right now, okay, when we're gonna run. Uh, GT as well, okay. A lot of guys they teach their front side tackle to block down, okay. We don't do that. Um, the reason why is we have some guys that are kind of athletic and get in space and block uh, linebacker types out in space, okay. So we'll arc, okay. Um, talking to some guys, I mean, that's not that's nothing unique, uh, that's nothing groundbreaking, uh, but talking to some guys, uh, I'll tell them that wrinkle and they're like, man, it makes a lot of sense, you know, I've seen that before. Yeah, give it a try because it's worked for us pretty well. Okay, get this tackle out in space, blocking the overhang. Um, trust me, when, when this guy right here sees that it's a run because he's what we call a conflict apex defender, 
uh, playing run or pass, he sees that it's a run, he's going to trigger, okay? So he's going to come to your tackle, okay? Just tell your tackle to be, be very uh, patient, come out there, and he's just working out to the, uh, to the outside linebacker, okay? Uh, so let this, three, this uh, four technique, let's head up, come straight up field, okay? We'll get that in a second. Okay, we're going to work uh, what we call an ace right here, working the center and guard, double team backside. Um, and then this, this backside guard is going to trap this four technique, okay? Uh, and then we're going to pull and wrap, tie off the double team again for this mic, okay? And so on this now, okay, we'll step and we'll, the, the Y will block most dangerous, okay? If he is screaming off the edge, he'll block him. If he's kind of coming across and reading the pull, the, the tackle's pull, Okay, then we'll sit there and we'll block him, okay? So either if he's, he's gonna get in the hip pocket and go, we'll block him, okay? If he's screwing off the edge and he's kind of just settling, block him, okay? It's a hard block, but understand that we're trying to get out um, behind this pool fast, okay? Uh, and we have different things that can hold this guy, running bash and stuff like that. And we'll go over that another time, but uh, right now we're gonna run kind of what we normally do, okay? Uh, so that's how we're doing against odd front, okay? We'll, we'll try to dig him out, maybe we'll run a bubble, something like that, just to make it look good, okay? Um, but that's how we'll run um, GT against odd front, okay? But now, we'll go, we'll go over GY, I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, literally just switching responsibilities between the tackle and the tight end, um, which everybody does, um, but we'll just go over it real quick. Um, I won't even put a defense on it. Uh, only thing is, when we run, we'll, we'll go same side. So we're going to get a double team backside right there, kick. Okay, we're going to pick and hinge, okay, by the backside tackle. Make, make sure he jabs, then comes around, jab, then come around, just like that. Um, and just, you know, like I said, against odd front, only difference is we'll arc and we'll go there, okay? And then we'll still work. Like that, okay? So that's how we run GT and GY counter um, against even and odd front. Um, uh, if we go against a 3-3 three, three stat, only, only difference is if we went against 3-3 three, three stat, we would run uh, we would run uh, GT, but we would have, we would probably put our tight end on the line, okay? And work our double teams, okay? And trap whoever they brought off the edge, okay? we uh, I can do another video on that if you want, um, but that's how we would do against uh, an even 4-2 box. Um, if, we had, if we went against a 4-3 box, we would put the tight end on the line as well. Um, but against odd front is how we would do it. Uh, bear, we would just make a down, down, down call. Pretty much everybody is working down, still pulling, then trapping. Um, but things get a little different um, with who we're working to. Uh, we have calls for all that. So that's how we run uh, GT and GY uh, for us. Um, appreciate everybody watching. This is a real quick video. And then, like I said, there's nothing groundbreaking. Everybody does this stuff, but I just want to come out and just talk about this, how we do it. Um, if you learned anything, let me know. Comment down below. I appreciate everybody. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Um, like I said, I love doing, putting content out. This is kind of my first video doing that. I've been doing Zooms and just conferencing with coaches all the time, especially through COVID and as it's late, uh, which is clinic season. So, if you like this, make sure you hit like. Make sure you share it to people. Um, be like, hey, y'all see what Coach Tatum was doing over there at North Carolina? Uh, if you have any other questions and I have any suggestions you want me to do uh, videos, let me know because I love uh, just talking ball with y'all. And uh, make sure you hit me up and let's, uh, let's get better this offseason for our kids.